Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again and today I am here at Magic Kingdom to share with you a few of my favorite things. Now, it would be easy to go and pick the big things like Tron or Space Mountain, things like that, but that's not what we are about on my favorite things lists. I am about finding the little details, the little things that maybe you don't always think of that add so much to these parks. And today we are here to find some of my favorite things, some hidden gems, if you will, that to me make Magic Kingdom even more special and make it what it is. So come with me on this adventure and we're going to go find some of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom. I got you. Let's go do this. So one of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom, and it, it's something to me that makes visiting the parks special, is meeting the characters. Right up here at the Town Square Theater, you can meet Mickey Mouse. Now sometimes you can meet Mickey and Minnie, as you'll see I have done right here. So that's when me and my family, we all met Mickey and Minnie together, and that's really cool. Uh, but you can always meet Mickey here at the Town Square Theater, and I think that no trip to the Magic Kingdom, especially if it's your first time coming, is complete until you meet Mickey Mouse. You have to meet the man himself. It is one of my favorite things, and you can do it right here at the Town Square Theater just steps after entering the Magic Kingdom Park. It is definitely on my list of favorite things. Another one of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom is right up here by the entrance. It's something that is very easily walked past because you come through the gate, you scan in, you get in and you're ready to go down Main Street towards the castle. That's the big weenie down there. Walt always talk about a weenie to draw you in and the castle does that so well that you miss one of my favorite things that's right up here at the beginning of the park in the Main Street areas and that is the train. Now I love taking the train. You get to see different parts of the park that you don't normally see. Uh, it's a nice 20 minute ride if you ride it all the way around. Walt loved trains. They're synonymous with Walt. He had the Carrollwood Pacific Railway that he built in his backyard. He loved his model trains. He loved trains. That's why the train is here. It takes you around. We're gonna go ride it right now. You're gonna see where I rode the train and enjoyed something that Walt enjoyed so much and it's one of my favorite things. We are here at Magic Kingdom to ride the train. Let's go. Friends, I'm so delighted you've joined us today. There's nothing I can do because it's certified proof that in these parts, dreams really do come true. Those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love minding this railroad. But for those times I'm fixing for something a bit quieter, we have a mind of their own. Thanks for traveling with us. I hope you join us again real soon. 
So how fun is the train ride? I love riding around on the train. You hear and see things that you don't normally see. You get to see the backside of some of the things. Uh, so different parts of the park that you don't normally see. It's 20 minutes off of your feet. It's classic. To me, it, it makes me feel closer to Walt. It's synonymous with Walt. That's why the train is on my list of favorite things here at Magic Kingdom. All right, next up on my list of favorite things here at Magic Kingdom is something that's actually pretty popular. It's maybe the most popular thing on this list. It has become a cult favorite, and it is one of my all-time favorites. I had to put it on this list. Maybe it's kind of obvious, but it is not a huge headliner from a thrill ride or a restaurant perspective, but it is a classic and one of my favorite things, and that is the people mover here in Tomorrowland at Magic Kingdom. I absolutely love this ride. What's not the love? It's 10 or 15 minutes off your feet. You get to go inside Space Mountain. You get beautiful views of Tomorrowland and Cinderella's Castle. You get to see originally what Epcot was supposed to be. You get to see that model if you go on the right track. It is a lot of fun and we're going to go take a ride right now. All right, we have taken off on one of my favorite things, the Tomorrowland People Mover. Greetings, and, uh, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard listen. the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Orac 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. See, it's the best way to see Tomorrowland. ever lots to see. From spacecraft to monster maps, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, <laughs> thank you. I can't see where I'm going. I wasn't ready. That was a fast turn. Who says you can't have some thrills on the people here? Enjoy station, the please. ride. Our Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. Tomorrowland Speedway. Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Road. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light speed competition. Most of all days are so bad. The people mover is absolutely one of my favorite things. So they have all the lights on on Space Mountain on our ride here. Which is interesting because all the lights will be off later for the Halloween event. So how fun is the people mover? I absolutely love it. You get to see things you don't normally get to see. Like today, we got to see all the lights on in Space Mountain. It's 15 minutes or so off your feet. You have beautiful views, especially at night. Uh, you get to see down in the Space Ranger spin. There, it just has a lot going for it. It's an Omni mover, so the line is usually not that long. It's always moving, and I love it. It is definitely on my list of favorite things here at Magic Kingdom. Let's go find some more. Another one of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom is back here at Gaston's Tavern. Now, I love Gaston. Uh, he is probably my favorite Disney villain. He and Captain Hook, they're right up there. I love Gaston. Uh, I love his song in the movie. I love everything about him. And I love coming to Gaston's Tavern. And one of my favorite things within one of my favorite places here is the huge warm cinnamon roll that you can get here at Gaston's. Now Gaston's is closed while we're here tonight. It's not open, but I did just recently have that cinnamon roll and review it. So take a look at that right here. Probably the best thing going for the money and that is the warm giant cinnamon roll at Gaston's. And if you haven't had this, I highly recommend it. It's enough to share or if you're like me, enough to pick out on. And uh, it is 
so, so good. Let's give it a try. It's always best in the middle, but I've only got one hand, so. Mm. It's so good, it's so big, it's easily shareable. It's like $7.29 with tax included with no kind of discount. And it is definitely it, close to the top on my list of favorite things that you can get at Magic Kingdom. How good does that thing look? It is easily shareable. It is still really good priced, especially for something that big, big snack. I love it. I love the whole vibe back here at Gaston's Tavern. I love that he uses antlers in all of his decorating. I love Gaston. I can't help it. Hey, you know, every last inch of him is covered with hair. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do know that Gaston's Tavern and the cinnamon roll here at Gaston's Tavern are on my list of favorite things at Magic Kingdom. Another one of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom is maybe maybe you consider this one a little more popular but it brings us over here to liberty square and sleepy hollow refreshments first of all i love the whole idea of sleepy hollow and that sort of uh vibe fits very well with halloween which is going on right now the nikki's not so scary halloween party is going on uh right now as i'm filming this video we're in that season but over here at Sleepy Hollow, you have one of my favorite all-time things, snacks, whatever. It is the hazelnut fruit waffle over here. Now, I call it Nutella. That's the brand name. But it is a delicious chocolate hazelnut uh, fruit waffle loaded with fruit. The waffle is fresh. And I get it whenever I can over here. It's a great breakfast item. It's shareable. It is a really good buy. It is uh, still a good price. And I got to try it and review it here recently. Take a look. It's $8.49, but it is worth it. It is the hazelnut and fruit waffle at uh, Sleepy Hollow. It is one of my favorite snacks here. It is big. It is definitely, you could get it for breakfast and be good for a while. And uh, it is full of fruit, full of hazelnut spread, Nutella. I say it's Nutella, but it's a hazelnut spread. And it is good. It's messy, though, so you want to sit down and eat it. This could totally be a whole breakfast for one person that will carry you till way after lunch. You might be able to just get by with a snack for lunch. Here we go. Huh? Great waffle, fresh fruit, great chocolate taste. What can you say except for eat it? <laughs> so how good does that look? I mean, that waffle, I know it's a little dark because it was late the other night when I was filming it, but that Nutella waffle is absolutely one of my favorites and it has been for a long time. So when you come over here to Sleepy Hollow and you get that hazelnut fruit waffle, Think of me because it is one of Chase's favorite things here at Magic Kingdom. Okay, next up on my list, the last thing on my list of Chase's favorite things here at Magic Kingdom also keeps us in Liberty Square. There's a couple of things in Liberty Square. It is something that I love because I am a huge kid about holidays, particularly Halloween, like the season it is now, and the other big holiday that this store keeps alive all year long, and that is Christmas. I am talking about the Christmas shop over here in Liberty Square, where it is Christmas 365 days a year. It is one of my favorite things. I love to go in there. I have a whole Christmas tree that is nothing but Disney ornaments, and I'm talking like a 10-foot tree. I'm going to have to start getting more trees. I already have like six trees. I'm going to need more trees for all my Disney ornaments because when I go in here, it is hard for me to leave without an ornament because this is one of my favorite things. Let's go take a look right now. Right now, while I am vid videoing this or making this video on my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom, 
it is Halloween time. So Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party season is in full effect. So even in here in the Christmas shop, Halloween has drifted over the edges and taken over part of the Christmas shop. But that's okay, because that's my two favorite holidays ma uh, mashed together. So we got a cool mashup. Let's take a look around the Christmas shop with a little Halloween twist. <laughs> Here's all your seasonal Halloween stuff that has drifted in to the Christmas shop. So there is a little bit of your Halloween stuff. I also see some Nightmare Before Christmas, which actually blends the two. But let's take a look at what we came in here for. Let's look at some Christmas stuff. You just have every kind of Disney ornament you could imagine. And probably some you couldn't. Disney Munchlings ornaments. Interesting. Now, over here you have some of my favorite ones to collect. These represent rides. And you can also get these that represent resorts at your particular resort. And you know I love resort-specific merchandise. There's a Pirates. I don't have that one. This one's awesome. I don't have that one. Now see what you guys are making me do with this video. I'm going to leave here with more ornaments. I'm going to have to buy more trees. It's going to be a whole big thing, but it's worth it. Some of my favorite to collect every year are the sketchbook ornaments. And of course, you're going to find all of those in here. I really like getting the legacy ones each year on their anniversary. It looks like 25 years. <laughs> Here are more of your old school, like these are sketchbook, but this is more of the old school type of sort of blown glass fragile ornaments. You even have a Benny, a trash can. You have my favorite Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey. Mickey and Minnie getting married. <laughs> 80 years. We got some three caballeros, or at least two of the three. I also wait. Uh, I also love the way this uh, store smells. You know, the smell is very much tied to memory, so it has that sort of cinnamon, Christmassy smell, and I love it. Now, one thing I really love in here too, as the very talented artisan works over here, is you can get some of these old school ornaments and you can have them personalized over here by a Disney cast member, by an artist. And I really think that's cool. I'm, I'm definitely into things that are personalized, signed, things like that, that are more individual than mass produced and this is a way to take something that is mass produced and make it original make it your own and I really love that you can get your name birthday different words different art selections you can really take it and make it your own I love that what they will also do here is you can have that done and it can get done the same day or you can have it mailed to you and they will mail it to you at home and then you don't have to worry about taking it and, and you know breaking it or carrying it around the park no, 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 they will actually ship it to you and i've had that done several times that's also great if you are buying something as a gift for someone so just something else that makes this place special and definitely one of my favorite places here and favorite things here at the magic kingdom all right, adventurers, there you have it. That's just a few of my favorite things here at Magic Kingdom. Now, I could go on and on with a list, and obviously I could make a list that has the big stuff, 
because I love Space Mountain. Pirates is one of my favorite rides all time. Those are big, obvious favorite things. I wanted to bring you a little bit of the things that are more special to me that are just like in the background that aren't obvious all the time. That's what I like to do with these favorite things videos. And if you like those, we'll keep doing them because I have a lot of little favorite things like that that maybe you pass by and you don't think of all the time, but they help make these parks special. They endear them to you and bring that nostalgia and those memories all the time. And hopefully that's what I've done here today. Anyway, until next time, I hope you've enjoyed my favorite things. This is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.